happy Friday. Uh, today we are going on a road trip to go pick up something for the box. Car looks so dusty on camera, it's bad. Looks so dusty. But let's get going. Alright, so we're now in California getting gas and gas out here as you can see is super expensive, so that kind of sucks. And now we're waiting, we got about I know this is 2 a.m. It's technically 103 here in California. Um, the gentleman will be here at about 155, he said. Oh, I know it's hard to see, but the bags have been acquired and everything with it. I got a free sweater, too. morning we got everything here bags for the front oh god we have instructions controller more bags and we have everything here so we're gonna make this happen all right so here we're on the table we have a couple things you have the compressor tank you have the actuators, which are uh, these modules. And then you have your compressor itself. And you have some fittings down here, some adapters, a, take pr a tank pressure sensor. So the ECU knows how much air is in the tank and all that fun stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about like the basic setup and how this works. So I hope you're able to follow along with me uh, because when you do buy a kit like this, you're going to have instructions. Um, but if you buy a used kit, you may not get that. You might just get the pieces and you might have to do some research yourself. So here is the gist. You have your air compressor. You need to attach this to your tank. Okay. And then your tank will have one port dedicated for the front, one port dedicated for the rear bags. You'll have one port dedicated for your sensor. You should have also a drain on the bottom uh, for condensation, you can get rid of that. Um, and then you may use another port, whether it's on the side, the top or wherever for a fill up valve. Um, if you want to inflate the tank, if your compressor fails or if it's just quicker to fill up this tank and have another compressor on the side, whatever your situation is. Um, now, like I said, you're going to have a, a, a valve or you're going to have one of these guys, uh, for the front bags, the rear bags that will have a hose. So it looks something like this and this will have a hose that connects to this module. So this module here is kind of the brains of how the air is getting entered and released from your vehicle. Um, so you have these two small valves. These are the release. So when you when you release the air from the bag, this is what's releasing the air, like this side. This is where the hose that connects from this will run, run to, run to this guy here. And then you'll have these, which will run to each individual bag. And it's hard to say, but you can see where it's left and right. So this would be like the left front bag and the right front bag. Um, so air goes a tank into the solenoid right here. And then it can send basically compressed air to whatever bag you may need it on. Okay. And when you release it, it releases out of their respective 
valves in the back. And then right here, these are just the sensors. So the ECU knows how much air is inside each bag as well. Um, and then same thing for the other side. Uh, it's, just the rever it's just the same thing, just for the rear bag. So you'll have another port that sends air from here to right here. And then that sends air to these, depending on which bag needs air for the rear section. Um, these are basically identical, so you can swap them as far as I can tell with this set. Um, I don't see any way to distinguish them apart, so, you know, use that information how you'd like. Now, when you're com connecting your fittings to your tank, unless your fitting is the same size of the tank, you're going to need some sort of an adapter. Uh, so I have one right here. Uh, you would put Teflon tape on this. And these have Teflon tape on it, but as you can see, they are already torn up. So I'm going to replace it. Um, but you would go ahead and, you know, connect it. In this case, it's actually this adapter. But you would put that guy on there. And then you would go ahead and you connect this. And then that's, you know, one of them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and tell you more about a dryer or an air dryer. So with compressed air uh, or air in general, um, there is possibility for water molecules to be in the air itself, like you have moisture, or moisture moist air. So what this will do is this will help uh, protect moisture from getting into your lines inside and also inside your tank. So the instructions for my kit just tell me to con connect the compressor directly to the tank, but I'm actually going to connect it to an air dryer and then connect the air dryer to the tank. So for the time being, let's go ahead and get all these fittings cleaned up. Let's get a new Teflon tape on it and let's make them look so good. the way we're going to do that, because this does not fit in the air dryer, I'm going to use an adapter like so. And then this is going to connect to a T-valve. And on this valve, I will have a line adapter. Look like this. Now this is going to run air to the dryer. And on the dryer side, I'm gonna go ahead and connect another line. And so they'll just run a line from this fitting to that one. And the reason I have a second hole here um, is I'm actually gonna put a second compressor here. So two compressors will go through. They will go through the air dryer. And then from the air dryer, we'll run a line all the way to the tank. Okay, so it's just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have to spend more time to get some of it off. Some of it's really deep. Uh, I'll probably just get like a, a pick or something to get it out. Uh, but let's go ahead and get these guys out because these are the ones that are going to be going to the tank uh, itself. And we need to go ahead and wrap the outside of these. And thankfully, these are be real easy to work with. install these make sure anytime you're messing with fittings and uh, stuff like this in general you're not using an impact gun to start your threads um, once your thread is going like once you already have it on there um, I see no issue with an impact but for stuff like this I'm just gonna use uh, wrenches and just to be safe on it now these are not all the fittings I need um, but these are some that I currently do have. I'm still waiting for more. And then here we got um, some of these also finally done. Take your time. Don't rush it. Don't cross thread it. Just get it started. Again, 
So this will screw on, but this is actually on a swivel. I'll show when I tighten it, but you'll be able to adjust this to whatever direction you want. So it doesn't matter where it's sitting here. So don't worry. Just trying to make sure it's straight. There we go. So as you can see, the head turns with that stay stationary. Um, in this case, these, uh, the fittings to the tank are 22 mil that I'm using at least. Go ahead and tighten that down. Unfortunately, there's not enough room to put like a ratcheting wrench on this or anything. So you do have to go to school with it. There. What I'll do is I'll um I'll check for air leaks once we add more pressure to this. And this guy Cut off. There we go. Go play a game. Go, no touchy. Hey, no touchy. No, it's not for you. No, it's not. Stop for you. Get down. It's not for you. I know. What are they? Go. Yeah, it's for me. guy here we need to wrap this with teflon but we got this one already done the secret of pulling off all teflon is not to rip it but it's to try to guide it back out we're gonna go back 
the way it originally was put on. Now there is a in in and out, so make sure you're double checking that. Let's go ahead and twist that on. Again, I'm gonna use this to hold it. Nice and tight. And now we gotta go ahead and get another one connected here. Let's go ahead and twist this guy on. And then this is a 17. So we'll go ahead and hold that in place. Now, this can plug into an adapter for the tank or to the uh, air dryer. Okay. So, when you last looked at this, we just had the compressor here. This is a new compressor. This one is bigger um, and can pump more air. Here is the connection. So, compressor one, compressor two, the T fitting goes all the way down here to the water tap slash air dryer. And then this will process all the way up into the tank. And like I said before, we have front bags, rear bags, and this is the sensor. And we do have the drain on the bottom itself. Well, that's it, guys. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. A little longer, lots more details. That way you guys can see more of the journey. Uh, but I'll see you guys around next week. Stay safe and have a great weekend.